Hello, welcome to the first stage of making bread using fermented raisin water. You were asked in the introductory video to gather a few things together, so hopefully they're now all at hand and we can get going on uh, starting the process. Okay. You were asked to bring three things together for this first stage of the fermented raisin water project. Raisins, and you were asked to bring together 100 grams a jar with a lid and some water. You actually need only 57 grams of raisins. So if you'd like to measure those out first of all, that's 57 grams. You need to make sure that your jar is nice and clean. OK, so if you can make sure that it's clean uh, and uh, the lid is clean also. The water, you only need 177 grams. It is more accurate to weigh the water out rather than rely on the scale on the side of a measuring jug. So if you can, if you could water, uh, weigh out 177 grams. The water needs to be tepid or, or lukewarm, the edge taken off the cold. So if it is straight from the tap, I suggest that you add a little bit of hot water from the kettle. However, do be careful because uh, if you make it too hot, then it will kill the yeast, the natural yeast. OK, so just take the edge off. Don't don't go for very hot water. Once you have your 57 grams of raisins, all you need to do is pop them in your clean jar. And then you take your tepid water and you just pull that in and pop the lid on loosely. You need to place it somewhere warm, but not too warm, not hot, not in direct sunlight. OK, so if you can find somewhere warm in your house uh, or your flat and just uh, put it somewhere where it'll just stay out of the sun. Uh, you don't want to kill the yeast by overheating the jar and the water and the raisins. OK, it will take about four days uh, for them to start to ferment. And what you will see is the raisins will rise to the top of the water and you should see lots of bubbles starting to form and burst. And uh, it's, it's quite lively. Um, if you look at your mixture now, you will probably be able to see some bubbles already, but don't get too excited. Um, this is early, early days and you need to be patient. Uh, as with all bread, it's best if it's slow. And this certainly is a slow process. So four or five days time. What we'll do is we'll come back uh, every every day or every couple of days and just check on them and make sure they're OK. Uh, you can watch them and make sure they're they're sort of developing a little bit. You will see one or two rise up straight away, uh, but that, that doesn't mean anything. Um, you really, really need to see the whole lot rise to the top. OK, so if you grab your raisins, your water and your jar and throw them all together uh, and then you're well underway to making some really lovely bread. Uh, things will be determined, the speed will be determined by the state of the raisins, by the heat of the, the warmth of the water and the uh, general situation in your in your home. But uh, uh, hopefully we should all be um, where we need to be uh, in four days time. OK, thank you very much and take care.